Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS magazine videos. Um, my name is Paco Garcia and this is a rant video. Uh, uh, so content warning, I'm going to rant an awful lot and I'm going to talk about some very very unpleasant things. And this video is orientated, is aimed specifically at people who are actually in some ways complicit or defending what's happened recently with Zack Smith. Unacceptable. Completely and utterly unacceptable. Okay, let me put you into a little bit of background just in case uh, you haven't heard what's been going on. Um, it has transpired a couple of days ago that uh, Mandy Morby, the ex-partner of Zach Smith, aka Zach Sabbath, uh, has released a statement, a pretty damning statement, in, she, in which she describes part of the abuse and the horrific experience that she's had with Zach. Now, a number of people online have been victims and have been witness, me included, of uh, Zach's harassment and incredibly toxic behavior. A number of people have been denouncing this, crying about this and screaming all over the place that this was going on and yet, yet, nothing or very little has been done in the past. Now these accusations come out and I feel absolutely appalled specifically to a tweet that I have seen today from Mike Mills calling him certain playtester. Now Wizards of the Coast have made their position very clear. They haven't worked with Zach since 2014 and they are not planning on doing so again. That's good. That's, that's all right. But to actually the lead designer of Dungeons and Dragons, to call that person certain playtester in a tweet, what the hell are you thinking? He's not certain playtester. He's one of two playtesters you had that gave you an insane amount of controversy at the time, and yet today you still refuse to name him. Mike, what the hell? What the hell? Why? Why on earth? Why on earth would you want to protect that man by not naming him? We are talking about one very specific individual who's been accused multiple times in the past of doing multiple really, really horrible things. And yet you still call him certain playtester? No. Sorry, that is not good enough. That is making you look very bad and that's making Wizards of the Coast and D&D look very, very bad indeed. And that is tragic. That is absolutely tragic because Wizards of the Coast recently has done fantastic work. Absolutely amazing work. Work I feel very, very proud of and actions that I feel so identified with to bring diversity and to break the barriers of homophobia, transphobia, etc. within D&D. Absolutely brilliant work. And now you do this? Are you kidding me? This is not good enough. We deserve a lot better from the company that we have looked up to, from the company that's done so goddamn well than you saying certain playtester. No, he's not certain playtester. He's Zach Sabath. He's Zach Smith, and he should be named, he should be called out, and he should be ostracized from projects that you've been working with and been told by his name. Not certain playtester. Do like Ken Heights done and live up to expectations. Do like the Gauntlets done and live up to expectations. Look like drive through is going to do and live up to expectations. Speak out, speak up and speak against this behavior because it's not acceptable. And for all of you who say, oh, oh uh, innocent until proven otherwise, no. No. Simply no. I am not going to demand that the victims of such abuse that's taken them years, years, to be able to have the strength to come out and tell about, the, about those abuse. I am not going to demand those people go to court, go to some sort of mediated media circus just to please you. I am more than happy 
And I have all the right in the world to make up my mind by just what I have seen. And I've made up my mind because I think it's enough. Because those people have already suffered enough. And quite frankly, the, oh, the courts should decide that, is just an excuse to not take sides on this. That's lame. That is absolutely pathetic. Pathetic. And you should be ashamed of that. So no, no court for me. My court is myself. I've already made up my mind. And I'm sorry, but the risk of this man being guilty is just not worth presuming his innocence. Too many people have suffered already way way too much and we expect way way better from a company like Wizards of the Coast and we expect way better from people who speak in the name of Wizards of the Coast. So sorry Mike Merrills, you have fucked up with this one so so badly and I'm really sorry to hear that because um, no we deserve a lot better from Wizards of the Coast. You should be held to a much, much higher standard.